aggressive kid. You can see he threw the punches early, but he didn't have the reach to match. Karens, who's so darn big. Two years ago, he would never have made the National Hockey League, but Karens has worked on his conditioning, and now he has a chance to play, and with his size, you can see he's going to battle. The puck's there. Karens pinched with Daniels. They met. They looked at each other, and you knew right there it was going to be a fair fight or a fair start to this scrap. Daniels threw the first two or three punches, but they didn't reach because he couldn't match the long arms, as you see of Karens, and then Karens unloaded a bomb. We'll see in a moment, right there, knocking Daniels down. Well, the rivalry is alive and well, Mike. It is indeed. <laughs> John participated in a number of games, both well, here and in New York, right. in which there was a lot of this. And our team, when I played for the Rangers, was never quite as tough as the Flyers team when we played here in this building. Man, were they the, the old spectrum before this building was built. When the Flyers had the big, tough teams, that was one really tough place to go into and try to win but i really enjoyed it mike because it was always a game that you got emotionally into immediately carpet step throws one off the stick like he's been involved with two of the flyer tough guys already wow this is a battle the south claw surprise the original penalty was going to bukaboom as he pulled the quad down the first two games that these two teams played were at Madison Square Garden. A 1-1 tie and a 2-1 Philadelphia win. There was no fights at all. Here in the first 10 minutes, we've had three. Man. If it matters, Philadelphia has now moved into a tie with Buffalo for the most majors for fighting. And Buffalo is idle today. You'll see Bukaboom up here. I think he was going to get the original penalty. Is he there? Knocks down Lacroix. The referee's arms up. Now Lacroix's mad. He goes back at Bukaboom, and they dropped their gloves and started the scrap. So the original two minutes going to Bukaboom will give the Flyers a power play. Again, we can see that they kind of sit some to each other, and the gloves came off at the same time. And Lacroix did a pretty good job. Ooh, Bukaboom there with a big right. Lacroix got back up. He went back at it. How many signatures do you think it had taken to change his mind? Mario? Yeah. We I don't know, a, but we could arrange it. I, we can get a quarter of a million in Pittsburgh probably next yeah, weekend. I think the whole league, the whole country. He, as he goes over towards the Flyers bench, the puck is there. There's a hit, and there goes Michelle <laughs> right over the boards. But he came back on the ice, was very involved on the shift, and there's the stick right into the chest. A spearing motion by Karens, and he takes... The penalty, Lindros, when the whistle sounded, Bluehan went up to him and tried to get Eric off the balance of his game. And so far, Lindros has kept his composure very well. A two-minute minor to Karens. He's fortunate that it was only a two-minute minor as he jabbed with the blade of his stick into the chest of Petit, who was throwing his hands up and saying, only a two-minute penalty? It's a slash and not a spear. And it a liberal like, call. Felt like four or five to him, didn't it? Uh, a liberal call there. Now again, we've said this many times, Darren Langdon will just sort of sit back and wait, and wait, and wait, and then he's he's a second-half scrapper as Cordick. Man, does he look strong. Now he's trying to get his hand loose. Cordick looks like he's going to go left. Now Langdon goes left. Nothing much yet, but if he's a second-half finisher, this is when it starts to get better for him. I come through with some right to miss. Cordick is a big, big kid. Cordick here looks like he's very fit. Cordick oh. taking deep breaths. Langdon, the second half scrapper. He did a good job the other night against Chicago when he fought oh. over. There's a the left hand loose. Yeah, he throws him with both hands. Oh, there's a big left. Well, you don't see many guys switch hands like that, Mike. Oh, he's coming back yeah. with some rights. Oh, he's landed three in a row now. What a scrap. And the linesmen are just letting him go, and now they'll move in. <laughs> no one has left for soda or coffee. Both teams' benches applauding their own players. That, folks, was a heavyweight battle. Major League. People, a ton of penalty minutes. The first two meetings total, there were 30 minutes. We had that in the first period, and our building on that toast has four scraps, right? Four, yeah. Four separate altercations. John pointed out earlier, and wisely so, that if Cairns gets in another one, he is gone on an automatic gain from this conduct for having the third.